Hi, this is Nick, and in this video, I'll explain basic user setup in the workflow and automation product. You'll find workflow and automation here in the home menu. Workflow and automation is an administrative backend where you can manage users as well as your social properties. Social properties are anything that is a social presence for you, such as a Facebook page, a Facebook tab, a Twitter account, or a Google Plus page. This video gives an overview of the profile, resources, users, and account sections of workflow and automation. From here in the profile page, clicking the pencil icon allows you to edit information in your profile, like your phone number or anything else you feel is necessary. Just be sure to save your changes. The resources tab allows you to group people into teams, add social properties, group social properties into bundles, and create templates for the published product. The team section lists the teams you've created of people working on your social properties. Teams also can be grouped into hierarchies where you have a sub-team within a team. You may find it useful to group people by project, geography, or if they're internal or external to your brand. The social properties section is where you could add Facebook pages, Twitter accounts, and Google Plus pages that are included in your contract. Just click the add a social property button and choose whichever property you need. The bundles section is where you can group all of your social properties together. Common ways to group are by social network or by brand. The templates section allows you to create templates for geotargeting posts in the Oracle published product. Geotargeting is where you publish a post to a specific country or language. The templates you create are available in a drop-down menu in Publish. You can also mandate that a particular user only publish to the country or languages found in a template. The Users section is where you can see a list of all of your users and manage any invitations that haven't been accepted yet. You can add a new user by clicking the Invite Users button. Just type their email address and click Send Invitation. And finally, the Account section is where you can edit your account settings, like your logout time or password expiration date. If you'd like more information, our documentation can be found here. Or, if you'd like to see more demos, you can find those at our learning library.